Hi and welcome back to my YouTube. Oh my God, it has been so long. I think the last one, I haven't checked, but I think it was probably the Dubai vlogs. Um, was gonna vlog our Ibiza trip, which was in August, but there was a, it was a bit chaos. So yeah, I just didn't, it just didn't feel right vlogging it, um, which I won't go into. But today's video is a very overdue one. So it is basically showing you the before and after of our master bedroom. Um, so this is going back. I've started to like edit some bits and I can't believe it was back in November 2021 when we actually started this journey of designing the bed to go in the master bedroom. Um, and then just like how we want the room to look, which is just crazy thinking we're almost into October now. 2022 um but yeah it's just been a hectic summer loads of holidays and things i've been run down with covid and yeah i'm just finally getting around to it pulling all of this like very very old footage together of how it looked before the sort of journey um and the progress with the bed and then i will finally at the end of this video I'll just run you through just all of the furniture how it all came together where everything's from um and just like a close-up sort of room tour um so yeah i hope you love it as much as we do um got so much love on instagram it was so nice once we um finally got around to posting about it the love and just comments are just so lovely um but yeah i hope you love all of this it's more like a bit detailed um so yeah i'm gonna start off now and just talk you through the early stages because there isn't actually a lot of video when the luxury bed company is it, that's who we got the bed with um when they came around there isn't actually a lot of footage so i'm just going to insert some images like some really short videos and then just talk you through that process first and then it goes into yeah the before afters and then the details about it as well all the different furniture so yeah i hope you enjoy it um and yeah let's get going so first up um the luxury bed company which is i think i've just mentioned who i designed the bed with it's never been done before that design um completely new to them and i've never seen anything like it so it was so exciting so basically they came around this was back in november 2021 um it was joe and reggie from there who were just both amazing um so lovely so down to earth if you follow them on instagram you'll completely get it um and yeah it was basically just me sharing my vision for it the sort of ideas that i already had and then sort of molding it into like an actual vision like drawn out properly um because mine was <laughs> i'm not a, i'm not an artist let's put it that way um so yeah so they got about just measuring up um Reggie got really excited at the fact like how just fresh and clean the wall was to actually be able to do more than what we actually thought so he was just like you've got such a great space like why wouldn't you do like a full-blown wall like it makes sense to do it um and I was like oh my god I'd absolutely love to do a full wall headboard um so yeah we went with that worked out the measurements for all the different parts of the bed make sure they'd fit okay sussing out what size bed we wanted um the mattress and things like that and then obviously the more exciting bits the the colors that we went for which took us ages to pick <sighs> so yeah that was back in november then we had a bit of a drama where that was all ready to almost go into like let's get going let's get that made um <laughs> and we'd completely forgot we'd already booked um and paid for like floor to ceiling curtains for the bedroom um which means if we'd done a full wall the mattress would have went to the wall where the window is but the ceilings are the curtains sorry are also right where the ceiling is so they had to come around and just remeasure and resort out the sh different shapes of the headboard based on that so yeah it's basically a full wall but it also just gives that little bit of space where the curtains all tuck down the side as well which you'll see in the after photos makes so much more sense and it looks perfect with it now so that delayed things a bit we were also then basically right off all of december for them to come and do that i think it was um with covid and yeah 
I won't go into that, but it was a tough month. Um, and then, yeah, January, I think maybe early January, they came and remeasured. Started to, obviously went into production. Um, and then, yes, and then that takes us to the, the back end of this video that like you'll see where it is, like the day when they came around um, and their team put it all together for us. But yeah, the whole experience was just amazing. Like, they're so creative. They, they like, bring their own vision to it as well to, like, really bring it all to life from what you want. Um, and also, like, put their own ideas into it. So whether it is the size or the which colours would go well um, or, like, little tiny details as well, they can work all that out. So things like, obviously, with ours being the full wall as the headboard, obviously, we've got bedside tables that needed to go in front of that but then there wouldn't be any plug sockets because the headboard would have blocked it for so things like that they were like it's absolutely fine we can work around like getting plug like where a plug socket would need to go and make sure the headboard has that basically cut out of it ready to go in so honestly the little details like that just makes your life so much easier for you as a customer not to have to try and suss out for yourself um but yeah so I think that's it on the sort of like the actual side of getting the bed designed. So yeah, I'll pop the footage in now where it is the the day the bed is getting fitted um, and installed in the house. And yeah, you'll see the before, like on that day, before everything started to get done. So today is the big day when our new bed gets delivered. Um, so yeah, I'm taking you along obviously for the progress on this room. At the minute it's literally just a shell basically. Um, got some of the cushions and throws here. But yeah, we don't have anything in the room. Oh, we've got the curtains um, already. They need a good little steam actually. Um, but yeah, this is where it's all going to come together. to jump on before I start and show you these <laughs> I feel like I just did not know anything about these I didn't know you would get pillow protectors and then I've told my mum about it she was like yeah we've got it as well um so yeah I thought I'm gonna invest in these because we have got super king pillows um so they're a lot wider to fit the super king mattress so we thought with paying a bit more for those pillows it's definitely worth just investing in protectors um to make sure they keep all fresh and it's such a good thing as well because there's sometimes when now and again my fake tunnel like seep through the pillowcase on a night which i try and avoid now i do put pillow um towels over my pillows but just to know they are super fresh using these and then you can just wash those um and then bought the i don't know why it's not focusing um there we go um the mattress protector as well so it's the exact same one um and the washable which is a dream um so yeah i'm gonna put those on now oh so out of breath but um yeah fitted sheet is on which i'm buzzing about um oh my god deep fitted sheets are the future um and the mattress topper which i was a bit scared about because it didn't say it was for um really deep mattresses so i didn't know if it had um like clipping around the bottom but it was absolutely fine so so happy with that and then just to oh my god I'm so out of breath um the super king pillows I got were from M&S um so strange though they sell those but they don't sell pillowcases for them <laughs> which is a bit bizarre but these had really good um reviews so yeah super king pillows so they're extra long to fit on there so there isn't like a huge gap either at the end or in the middle so yeah, I'm going to put the pillow protectors on those now and then get the bedding on. Oh my God, can we just take a minute? <laughs> Why have I never came across these before? The like little sleeping bags for your pillows. They are so good. Like they're such a good idea. I'm obsessed. And then they just zip up at the side. 
perfect. Also, can we just take a moment for how great this invention is? The Lenore crease releaser. So that pillow there has had it on compared to not. <laughs> it was crazy. I honestly wish I was nine in person, but I'm not. I don't have time. And I wouldn't want to waste my time doing it either. I'm not kidding. I'm sweating so much. I've just had a shower before I started on this and now I'm going to need another one. Um, Super King changing the bed is an actual full-blown workout. I'm going to wear a fitness watch next time to see how many calories it burns. And it'll definitely pick up that it was a full workout. Um, but yeah, needed to show you the finished look. So these glossy interiors cushions are so heavy, so full. Um, it's like its own little workout getting them on and off the bed. You can just feel like the quality in them. It's insane. Um, and then the throw as well. It's absolutely stunning. Just the full set. Um, I really like as well that this material um, has this like piping on the plain one. So they really um, just do fit so well as a set. I really love this as well. I don't know if it was on the website, but I definitely would. Having the throw that way as well, if you wanted to sort of fit in with the darker colour, the plain. Um, so it's definitely reversible. So love that. Um, and yeah, this is the finished look. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I just need to sort out this. But you get the gist. And here we have... <laughs> So excited to show you the finished room with all of the furniture added. Um, so yeah, I don't really know where to start. Um, maybe just in this corner, but yeah, I'll give you a quick... There we go. Oh, honestly, I don't think I'll ever get sick of this. It's quite a timeless look. Um, but yes, so first things first, the furniture. So these are from... Furniture one, two, three. So we've got both bedside tables and this chest of drawers here just to sit the TV on. Um, and we really wanted to go for this sort of gold. Um, and we managed to get the bedside lamps in a really similar gold tone. Oh, and our light, which let me just try and turn that on. Hopefully it's a nice colour yeah <laughs> so this is really good actually because it has a remote control that changes the brightness and warm to cold so yeah it's just a really nice one but yeah I love the warm colour on it obviously um so yeah that is it with those with that bedside table so it's a two drawer um and then it just raised up a bit on those legs um, let me just see if I can get behind actually because we did also oh we've got lots of plugs in you can't really see um, but yeah we got basically the same plug sockets but done in this sort of finish um, yeah it doesn't really look too goldy like brass colour on these but yeah it's basically one of these so they're really flat too the wall um and yeah the ones behind have the usb cables which came as standard in story anyway so yeah we just replaced the standard white ones with that color and then yeah got all of the plugs done in that as well um and yeah here is i think you'll have already seen it done but just without furniture but the headboard so i did say at the start of the video um, I always say I'm really out of breath when I talk, I'm so sorry. Um, but yes, the headboard, we did want the full way across and that's how it was first measured until we remembered we'd already ordered these. So yeah, the original would have been for the headboard to come up to this wall, but I just actually love that we did go for this. Um, very show home sort of vibe. Um, and these curtains were from Dunelm. Um, I think the colour and the material is, it's called Carnaby Mushroom, but any details on all of the stuff I'm going to mention in this video, I'll pop in the description as well, just to double check that I've got my, my details right, but yeah, those are floor to ceiling. Um, 
for the little bits. Got a cute little reed diffuser. These are from Rituals. Um, I'm going to have to pop it in the description. I can't remember off the top of my head where these lamps were from, but there is a few places that sell it. Um, so I'll put wherever's got it in stock at the minute. Um, yeah, in the description as well. And then I don't know if I've already spoke about it, but these are from Glossy Interiors. So this is a full set. Again, can't remember the name. I'll pop that in the description, all the details. And this as well. It's so beautiful. But yeah, you can just see how it sort of really does fit in with the room so, so well. Um, and yeah, that is everything on that, I think. And then if we move across to this side of the room, this chair, I think, is my favourite find out of the full room. So I had my eye on this. I think it was in Dunelm and it was maybe 250 to 300 pound. I had it sat waiting and I was just like really indecisive, spent a bit too long deciding if I really wanted it, that it'd measure right and fit in the space. Went to go and order it and it went out of stock. And when I got in touch with Dunelm, they actually said they don't know if there's going to be any more coming in. And it was just basically a waiting game. Randomly, a week later, I got an email from Aldi just on, it must have been like special buys and things. Clicked through and I just randomly went on to the home section. Um and found this which was an online exclusive for Aldi but it was basically the exact same as the Dunham version but I think this was £99 insane and look at the colour match for the luxury bed company bed like literally couldn't be any better the gold as well is the exact same gold as the handles on here and the light up above can't believe it honestly I was so happy and it's such good quality as well um but yeah love this like little corner bit just to sort of sit whether we'll use it a lot I don't know but it just it needed something because there was such a big space in this corner I didn't know what else to put there and it's such a good one maybe when we're trying on clothes and things like that um but yeah absolutely love that um again furniture one two three um where this is from so that's a six drawer one um and is there anything else to show you oh i'll just give you a quick view of the the wardrobes actually so these were we paid extra for these for from story homes when we got the house initially and oh my god they are honestly just the best um i think these are space side or space pro um i'll put some details below and the colors and all of that jazz um but yeah they don't half finish the room off um kept them really neutral in color but just the amount of mirrors as well just means it just feels even bigger than it already is like look at the size of this space oh, it's just a dream when we're trying on outfits to have all of this um and the only other thing to show you i'm not gonna apologize for the state of the wardrobe at the minute because i'm actually planning on doing a youtube in the next week on sorting these wardrobes out and it's going to be my transition from summer clothes and getting all of my autumn winter clothes out and just organized in wardrobe so yeah i'm not going to apologize because it's happening and it's actually going to be a fun video once we get around to doing it but i did want to show you um so because the rail is so high here we've got some storage bits of boxes and things like that spare pillows spare duvet for the other room things like that up above um, but we have had the loft done out now, so I want a lot of this stuff once we put summer clothes away for these boxes to go up in the loft so there's actually a bit more space here as well. That was the whole point of getting the loft so we could put a lot of storage up there. Um, a rail here, but then there is so much space just left. Um, so I think I posted this on my Instagram a while ago, but excuse the mess. Um, these shoe racks which will be hard to show because it goes all the way around um but yeah these shoe racks were i think 10 pound from tesco just like a matte black so easy to put together no sort of tools needed it's the most straightforward thing ever and they're just amazing also really love as well that they are extendable so it can obviously fit into the right space for you so i've got a lot of my heels and some boots and things like that in there 
so great use of space again that'll be part of my summer to autumn just getting rid of any sandals and putting those away and getting more boots and things like that out so yeah i use the full space because it is quite a big space here um but yeah you can see it's just a bit of a dumping ground because i am waiting for this huge tidy up and transitioning from summer to autumn so the only other thing to show you which i do love for storage if anyone's got these sort of wardrobes and there's just a bit of space that's not being used up i got myself you can see oh, look, all my summer clothes ready to get put away um these the ikea malm um like a skinny three drawer fits in honestly look perfect um and yeah oh my god everything's that full of summer clothes bikinis they're barely open and then all of my bikinis and things here as well but yeah another great way of just i've got all my t-shirts and short stuff here so then this all fits in but yeah stay tuned for another youtube where i will be sorting this out and it's gonna look like an absolute dream um but yeah just another way to really maximize the amount of space and then it's all hidden away behind these mirrored doors as if it's all minimal and clean um oh last bit actually i will show you these quickly pre-mark home i think so many of you have got this candle but i wish i'd got more because it's so pretty um and just goes with everything in our house the h&m home donut vase again everyone's got these are this is the large one this was actually some <laughs> Christmas decorations, which I actually thought these can be for all year round and they look great. Um, and this I think was in Tesco and I cut up some of my Decenio print. I got an extra spare print, cut the print up to make some, basically to make sure the prints around the house are actually all the same thing, just different sizes and elements of it. So it all really like sort of ties together um so yeah that was just from an old descent does any print which the full version is up in the living room um oh and then last thing the bedding is dusk um which i don't know if i've already mentioned earlier on the pillows are the super king ones from m s but yeah the bedding all dusk and that is everything so yeah i hope you enjoyed the tour <laughs> and the little transformation we're just obsessed with how it's all came together um and yeah catch you in the next one where i will be cleaning out these wardrobes and again showing you the before and after so if you you need some motivation to get that autumn winter wardrobe ready get rid of all your summer stuff put away in storage stay tuned for this next one because yeah i love watching videos like this to sort of give you the motivation to get it done as well so yeah, see you all soon.